<clears throat> okay, so that wraps up my long cycle session. Um, for my working sets, basically all I did was a minute of the 28s, a minute of the 24s, a minute of the 20s, um, followed by a minute rest, twice through, 30 seconds rest in between bells. Um, those types of ladder intervals are something that I like to do often, and it's probably the bulk of my uh, training style. Um, now, uh, what I'd like to mention is that obviously I am a coach, I coach other people to lift bells, but there are certain things that I will suggest that um, I might not necessarily do myself um, depending on the circumstance. So, for example, uh, I've lifted the 24 kg bells for, uh, in long cycle for a number of years now and um, have achieved uh, good numbers with the 24s. My best is 85 repetitions. Uh, I did that in Seattle of 24 kg uh, two arm long cycle. Um, to hit those numbers, I pretty well exclusively trained with the 24s, the 20s, and the 16s. Um, a smattering of uh, sets with the 26s, um, not usually the 28s. So here's the thing. Oftentimes I will recommend to lifters that they do at least a few sets of a bell heavier than they lift in competition um, just to help them progress forward and build things like strength and integrity in their lifts, uh, things like overhead positioning. Um, it's good to, to, to get into the overhead with a weight that's heavier than you're actually competing with so that you're sort of setting the stage and setting some durability um, and integrity for the weights that you're actually using. I really seldom actually do that myself. Um, I think a lot of that is just because I have a resistance training background. I've been resistance training since around the year 2000, I guess. Uh, 2000, 2001, I've been hitting the weight room. So I've built up a good amount of joint and soft tissue integrity, durability. Um, and a baseline level of strength, that sort of thing. Kettlebell sport is a performance sport. And so you can get away um, a lot of the time with just the neuromuscular adaptations uh, of your muscles. So basically the firing rate, how well the muscle fibers um, work together to produce force, as opposed to uh, the, uh, the, the strength and durability of the muscle tissue itself. So basically it's a difference of uh, the strength of the muscle versus the strength of, or the, the power, the strength of the signal innervating them, right? So, uh, and that's a lot of what your strength gains will be, are neuromuscular adaptations, especially in the beginning. Uh, you're, you're improving your coordination, your intramuscular coordination, uh, as well as your interfiber coordination. Um, so when, if you don't have a weight uh, resistance training background, you can achieve decent heights in performance just relying on neuromuscular adaptation, but unfortunately you'll come up short in the areas like soft tissue strength and durability, uh, joint strength and durability, um, a lot of the time just even the proprioceptive awareness that comes with years and years of training. So for that reason, I like to fit in as much strength work as possible with a lot of my clients and I might not necessarily do that myself. Um, I've also been snatching the 28 kg on and off the past uh, year or two, uh, actually several years. I think my first snatch set I did maybe three years ago. But um, even though I've snatched the 28 kg numerous times in competition, I rarely, if ever, uh, snatch the 32 kg in training. It just doesn't happen. Um, so while I believe that it's useful and beneficial to uh, spend some time with a weight heavier than what you use in competition, by no means is it absolutely necessary to achieve great heights uh, with the bell that you're using. So again, coming back around to my 24 kg long cycle, I've taken it possibly as high as I can take it at my current weight and you know, with the, the attributes that I have, with the genetics that I have, with the technique that I have. Um, 
And uh, same thing, well, snatch is still a work in progress, but with the 24 kg snatch, um, you know, that's pretty well as high as I can take it, you know, over 200. I might shoot for 220. But um, right now, just working with the 28 kg on snatch, and again, I'm not really doing any 32 kg snatch. So just thought I'd throw that out there for you guys in case that crossed your mind.